What's up everybody, it's Natalie here, and today I am filming a sit-down video. Besides hauls, I really haven't filmed a sit-down video in so long, and I honestly miss it a lot. I'm very excited to be filming this, and it is kind of a finance video, but I would love to hear if you have any requests for finance-related videos, anything like that, because I want to do them. I feel like I haven't done one in months, and I feel like I've gone through a lot of changes. I'm flipping a house and it's about to go on the market. I recently relocated to Miami, Florida. I definitely want to film them for you. It's been way too long since I filmed one of these. Today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys 20 things that I no longer buy. I've seen this trend going around for months. You guys have probably seen a lot of them as well, but I thought this, this was interesting because it really allowed me to reflect on my own spending habits and see what I no longer spend money on. And I just want to preface this that I am not a minimalist by any means. I don't consider myself a minimalist. I personally don't even want to be a minimalist. It's not something that I desire to be. I still enjoy shopping. I still enjoy, you know, decorations and clothes and all of that stuff. So, but I do think that it's interesting to see the things that I no longer spend my money on and what I actually do instead of it. If you are a minimalist, if you are a maximalist, if you are a mediumist, whatever you are, this video could definitely still help you. Also, if you do enjoy this, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. I never ask for that, but I feel like if it helps the YouTube algorithm, definitely do it. It would mean a lot to me. And then subscribe if you guys are wanting to. <laughs> First thing that I no longer buy is makeup wipes. I haven't bought makeup wipes, I want to say, in like a year or even longer. I actually use a cleansing oil instead, and I've been double cleansing. I use a cleansing oil to take off my makeup, and then I use a face wash to wash my face and make sure that it's all clean. It saves you money because makeup wipes, I feel like you go through them once a month, like you have to buy a new one every month, maybe every two months. Whereas this cleansing oil I have had for, I want to say like eight months now, and I still haven't ran out of it. It's really, really cost efficient, and it's also more sustainable than buying makeup wipes. I'll have my link down below. Another thing that I no longer buy is new makeup or skincare. This one, it's a little bit unfair because I am a YouTuber, obviously, so I do get stuff sent to me for free. So I feel like this one is a little bit of an unfair choice to add on here. I also want to point out something that you can do if you are not getting stuff sent to you for free that you can still really minimize buying makeup and skincare. I have been sticking to one skincare routine and using it until the last drop and then I will go to my drawer and find another skincare, find another makeup. In the past, I used to be such like a makeup and skincare junkie that I would start a product, I would use it for two weeks and then I would stop using it and I would use another product and then I would stop using it and then I would use another product and I'm no longer doing that. I'm using everything up until the last drop before I start a new product and I think it's something a lot of people don't do because we're so obsessed with like trying new skincare and trying new makeup. So if something is working for you and you like it, don't just continue to buy, 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 buy and then accumulate. Really finish a product before you buy something else. I used to have a 12 rack container full of makeup and now all of my makeup is stored in a makeup bag. Which is crazy. I feel like I never would have thought that I would have kept my makeup in a makeup bag because I would have too much. But I really have been saying no to PR companies. My manager will text me and be like, do you want to be on this person's PR list? And I'll just say no because I don't want to. I don't want to collect things anymore. I don't I don't want to collect this makeup and like have it sit in my drawer. Next thing is plastic water bottles. I no longer buy plastic water bottles. I'm not going to say I never use plastic water bottles anymore because if I'm at an airport or if, you know, my family has plastic water bottles and I'm like on the go, then yes, I will grab one. I bought a Brita so that I can filter my water and then I also have two portable water bottles. One is a half gallon water bottle, which is so great because it has a strap on it so you can carry it around with you. Like It's literally like a purse. And then the other one is just like a normal water bottle from Target that you can take on the go. I feel like I drink so much more water when I'm drinking out of one of those. And also I can take it with me on the go so it's not like I have to have plastic water bottles at the house if I wanna take a water bottle out with me. It's so much more sustainable, it's cheaper, it's just better. Like you don't wanna have plastic water bottles lying around your house either. I mean, one water bottle is just so much better. So. Get yourself a few reusable water bottles to incentivize you to actually use them because I literally never buy plastic water bottles anymore. I cannot remember the last time I bought a pack of water bottles. The next thing is discounted items or things on sale. And I wanna say, it's not that I don't buy anything on sale. It's not like I'm like, ugh, a sale item. I no longer buy anything because it's on sale. So something that I've been doing, and this might not work for everyone, and I completely understand that, is I don't look at the price when I shop. And it's not what you think. It's not like I don't look at the price and I just go to the cashier and I pay for it. 
no, 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 no. But when I'm shopping, I'm trying not to look at the price so I can see what I actually like, no matter the cost of it. There are some times when I will be shopping and I'll just notice that something's on sale. It's like, oh, it was $40 and now it's $20. And then I, I like convince myself that I like it or I convince myself that I need it. And it sits in my closet forever. I would have been better off spending $0 than $20, though I saved $20. So I pick out everything that I like if I do go shopping. So I'm like picking everything out that I like. I'm, you know, adding everything I like to the cart without really noticing the price. And then once I need to make a decision, because I'm one of those people that I'll just grab everything and then at the end I make my decision, then I look at the price. I've already grabbed everything that I like, regardless of if it's on sale or not. And so then if it's something too expensive, then I obviously do not buy it. It's not like I don't look at the price and I buy whatever. I try not to waste how much I like a product if it's on sale or not. So using that kind of rule when I go shopping has saved me so much money. The next thing that I don't buy is books and it's not because I'm not reading anymore, I am, but I would really, really appreciate any book suggestions because I haven't read a book in like two months. And this is the longest I've gone because I've just been in such a rut. Every single book I've picked up lately, I've hated. So please leave any non-fiction recommendations. I don't really like fiction. I try and I try and I try and I just don't like it. So any non-fiction recommendations, please leave them down below. I don't buy books anymore, like physical hard copy books. I do have a Kindle and I store everything on my Kindle and it's so amazing and I, I just love my Kindle. I used to be someone that was like, I cannot get a Kindle because I love the feeling of holding a book. Not only is it not as sustainable, but it's also just clean. It, it leaves clutter like where would I put books here like I know sometimes books can be decor and I do really appreciate that and I, I do love looking through bookshelves and going to bookstores and a bookstore is my happy place but for me I just don't want to buy a book because I know the second that I read it I'm done I'm never picking it up again I'm never reading it again and then it's just there in my room doing what that is why i really really love my kindle and you can also rent books for free on your kindle if you get a library card i have not done this yet but i know that that's a thing the next thing that i no longer buy is coffee pods i used to be the big biggest espresso lover and now i have switched to a mr coffee espresso machine and i use whole beans and my best friend actually started a coffee company so i am going to plug her here because if you want good coffee she has specialty coffee from costa rica you're supporting a small business she came from costa rica to dallas texas to start this business trying to grow it in the middle of a pandemic so if you want to support her i have a 15 percent off discount code natalie15 so i just use whole beans now and i got a coffee maker that uses whole beans i grind them up on my own and then i put them in the coffee machine and it makes such good coffee i don't think i can ever go back to pods the next thing that i no longer buy is jewelry and i never used to buy jewelry that often i always used to very minimally accessorize i have three necklaces here i have this one that i'm wearing i have this necklace except without this little purple stone in the middle so it's just a gold chain and then i have my 1996 necklace They're the only three necklaces that i brought with me to florida and then i have my earrings these are the only earrings that i have my ear is literally green i need to take these out because they're rusting i have these two cuffs from kendra scott this little earring from kendra scott and then this earring from somewhere else that I completely forgot the name of. And I love my rings. These are the rings that I wear and I wear these every single day. I work out with them, I shower with them, I sleep with them, I never take them off. So I have four rings and those are my accessories and I love them. The next thing that I no longer buy is going to sound weird, but it's bras. I have two bras, <laughs> that's it. I have one strapless bra and then I have one bra that is like a little lace, like no, has an underwire, but like no support, no cushion at all. Um, and I love them and I don't really wear bras anymore. So I'm not like free the nipple train where it's like I am confident freeing the nipple necessarily. I don't have anything against that. But for me, I still feel uncomfortable if my like, I don't know, if I'm wearing a really tight like tank top and my nipple is out. <laughs> so like this top, for example, I feel like you can't really see it because it's Maybe you can, I'm comfortable with this. But this top, it's like a little ribbed, it's a little thicker, so I'm not wearing a bra right now. And I don't feel like I necessarily need one. And time I do need to wear a bra, I wear one of the two bras that I own and I don't remember the last time I bought a bra because the bra that I have, <laughs> the lace one, Keon's mom gave it to me because it didn't fit her. So I just have it, so I didn't even buy that one. I, had, I, I have a second one, not by choice. And then my strapless bra is from Victoria's Secret Pink and I'm not kidding, I might have had it since high school. Maybe college is when I bought it, but I've had it forever and it still holds up fine. I wash it every time I do my laundry, but I honestly, like more than half the week, I'm not wearing a bra, so I like barely ever wear it. And if I do, I just wear a strapless bra and that's about it. So I don't know, I've kind of just gone braless 
for a really long time. The next thing I don't buy is cotton balls. I just don't use them ever. If I have a toner, which I do use a toner every single day, I just put it on my hands and then I rub it into my face. I haven't noticed anything bad happening with that. So the next thing is a gym membership. I used to pay $300 a month for Equinox, you guys. Do not judge me. Yeah, I paid $300 a month because I want to be like unlimited pass because I would travel to like Boston or Miami or anywhere else. And I was like, I want to be able to go to the gym there. So I literally paid $300 a month for a gym membership. And I cannot believe that anymore. Like, I'm just like, oh my God, how did I do that? Yeah, I'm saving so much money not being in New York. <laughs> Don't pay for a gym membership anymore. One, because I do have a gym in this apartment complex. So again, a little bit unfair. I have a Peloton at home and I have a few like gym equipment at home as well. But I've also been doing Pilates and things that don't require a any equipment at all or just require some dumbbells or doing some yoga. So I really haven't been using gym equipment that, that, that often. But I do pay for some apps. So, like I pay for the Sweat app. I pay for the Peloton membership. So those, I guess, can equate to a gym membership but i'm not going to a gym where you have to pay a monthly membership fee anymore the next thing that i don't buy anymore um this is kind of like a cheat one but it's getting my eyebrows done as frequently i used to go once a month to get my eyebrows done or like once every other month and now i can go like once every three to four months without getting them done because i take care of them myself so i'll like pluck any extra hairs that i have that are growing or you know my unibrow because that definitely grows in first thing but I haven't really gone to get my eyebrows done as much anymore. And I used to go and get like my upper lip wax and I was so insecure about that. And now I just have like a little face, um, it's not a razor, but it just like takes off your hair on your skin, like any peach fuzz. And I've been doing that. And then I've been doing an at home laser on my upper lip as well. And I have to go to, the, to get my eyebrows done like once every four months now because I don't, I, I've been taking care of them myself. The next thing I don't really buy as much anymore is candles. I just don't. I will run through an entire candle before I buy another one. I used to have an entire like, drawer of candles or like I would go to Bath and Body Works and buy like 10 candles at a time because they were on sale. No one, no one needs that many candles. You use one up and then you can buy another one. The next thing that I do not really buy anymore and this one is not a hard no because I would be so lying if I said I never do this. Food delivery. I definitely still do it, but I don't do it as often. I, I don't do it nearly as often. I can't remember the last time I ordered food in. But I have been shopping so much more strategically. I use Amazon Fresh, which is amazing if you have it in your city. And pretty much you just shop online and then it delivers straight to your door. And sometimes you can do like same day delivery. So it's really, really, really convenient. I think it's so much better than Instacart and it's free if you have a Prime membership. But what I do is I actually plan my week ahead. So I'll say like the meals that I'm planning and I'll get my recipes ahead of time and then I'll just order those on Amazon Fresh. So it's not like I'm ordering a bunch of ingredients because let me tell you, when I go to the grocery store, I just go in every single aisle and grab random things and then I come back and I'm like, I don't have food to make a meal. Like I, I have random snacks or I'll have random things or I'll have random whatever. And I'm like, what meal am I making with this? I've been meal prepping, using Amazon Fresh, and all of that has helped me be so strategic with my meals and be able to have like lunch and dinner and breakfast every single day of the week. And I've like found a newfound love for cooking. So it's been so nice. But yeah, I, I try, I really try not to uh, deliver food anymore because I know that I can make it at home. The next thing that I no longer buy is magazines. I used to be obsessed with magazines, like obsessed. I would literally beg my mom to buy me a magazine every time we would go to the grocery store. Up until maybe two years ago, I would buy a magazine every single time I would go to the airport. It was like my little ritual. I would get a Starbucks and I would get a magazine. And I promised myself, I would, I would literally tell myself, you're not opening this magazine until the plane begins to move. Because until then, you can use your phone, you can use all that stuff. But when the plane begins to move, that's when you can read your magazine. So it, it was my ritual. I just no longer do that because there's nothing in there that I don't see on the internet or on social media and they're so expensive. They're like $7 sometimes for a magazine and I feel like it's just a waste of money. I literally leave it on the airplane. I read it on the airplane and I leave it there. And I was like, I should not be spending this type of money. The next thing that I no longer buy is juices and that is because I have my juicer. So I would sometimes, you know, guilty pleasure, go out and get like a green juice or, you know, a juice at a restaurant and it'd be like $9. And now I got a juicer for $50 and I make my juice at home and I order my vegetables on Amazon Fresh and I order enough to last to have to like make a juice. So, I've been so good about that. I love it. So yeah, I never order juices anymore because I just know I can make it at home. The next thing that I no longer buy are sneakers. And this one, I kind of 
I just don't really buy shoes in general anymore. Honestly, like I really, really don't. Here's especially because I wear the same ones every single day. I'm like, until these have a hole in it or until they're not supportive anymore, I'm not buying new sneakers. I've had the same sneakers since like 2017 and I just got a new pair for my birthday. So I didn't technically buy them. But I'm not gonna buy new sneakers until those wear out because I only wear them to the gym, really. So if those sneakers wear out, then I'll buy some new ones. But I don't need to have like 10 sneakers that I choose from just to go downstairs and work out. The next thing that I no longer buy is coffee out. And again, this is not a never thing. So don't find a vlog and be like, you said that you don't buy coffee and here you are at a coffee shop. Cause that's not true. I do. I literally bought one today because we were out and about. If I'm out and about, I will probably buy coffee. Maybe like not every single time, but if there's a coffee shop and I'm getting tired, I'll get a coffee. But I used to religiously go to Starbucks every single morning, every single morning. I would go all the time or I would, I would literally be at my house, drive to get a Starbucks and then come back home. I don't need to do that. I really don't. I make such good coffee at home. The next thing is groceries without a list. And this kind of goes back to what I was saying. My problem with going to the grocery store is that I don't have a list and I buy everything and then I don't have food to make a, a recipe. So I guess you can count that in there. So I've been Amazon freshing everything, like I said, and it's just been amazing. The next thing is notebooks and agendas. I just don't need them. How many notebooks and agendas can you use? Like you really can't. I would go to Target and literally look at the notebook section and be like, which one should I get? Even though I didn't need one. Like why would I, why was I doing that? The next thing is avocado toast. And this might sound weird, but it's only because I make some amazing, delicious avocado toast at home. I eat avocado toast almost every single morning. So when I go out to a restaurant, I don't want to spend 12, $14 for an avocado and an egg when I literally make the same thing at home and probably even better. And that is it for the things I no longer buy. This video is so long. It's, I've been filming for 30 minutes. Let's see how much I can cut it down to. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want any other finance related videos, any other videos similar to this, maybe things that I like recommend that you buy, Amazon favorites, anything like that, let me know. Comment below anything that you no longer buy so that we can see. I'd love to know, but thank you guys so much for watching. Again, thumbs up this video if you want. Subscribe if you want, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. I really miss talking in front of the camera, so thanks for thanks for hearing it out. <laughs>